New at five, the Atlanta Fire Rescue Department just releasing images of two people who they're looking for in fires intentionally set inside of a Walmart and a Target. So take a look at those images on your screen. Now, the last fire was set last night, shutting down the Target off of Piedmont Road in Buckhead for what could be weeks or even months. 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates is live at the store now with new details on a possible motive here. Bobeth? Well, Jennifer, cleanup and restoration are underway after a fire quickly spread in that target behind me, forcing it to be evacuated. And now investigators tell 11 Alive they believe this all started as a way to distract so people can steal. Yeah, it's just I think it's just it's just careless. It's uh, you know, it's just a disregard for life, disregard for property. Atlanta resident expressing concern today after learning the fire set inside the target off Piedmont Road in Buckhead appears to be arson. Starting a fire, you can cause harm to not only the people who are shopping there, but the employees as well. I just think it's, uh, it's, it's vandalism and, and uh, I believe that whoever did it, I hope they catch them. According to Atlanta Fire and Rescue, the fire started around 5 p.m. yesterday on the first floor in the bedding section. No one was seriously hurt, but three employees had to be treated for smoke inhalation. This afternoon, investigators released photos of a person of interest in this case, along with another person of interest in a fire set at the Walmart in Vine City. A third fire was also set at the Walmart in Howell Mill, but no photo has been released of that suspect as of yet. But officials believe all three fires were set to allow people to shoplift and slip away. In the meantime, none of the Atlanta stores have reopened yet, leading people to worry about the impacts to the community. Atlanta does have a problem with food deserts, and so this this target is one of the places that um, I know the, the people in the area rely on for, for, for things as simple as fresh foods, and there's a lot of uh, college students in the area that use those for supplies, so it's gonna, definitely going to be inconvenience. Now, uh, Target could not tell us exactly when they will reopen the store, only to say it could be indefinite or uh, unknown amount of time. Now, we also want to say these damages to these fires uh, caused by these fires generally cost millions of dollars. And this was the same Target impacted in 2020 when looters went in. At that time, the store was closed for several months. Live in Atlanta, Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News. All right, Bobeth, thank you so much. Tonight, we now know that the fires set at Walmart, uh, we're seeing the impact from there. Walmart says it will now reopen the store in Vine City as a neighborhood market. This will bring fresh fruit and, uh, and produce for nearby college students and others who live in that community, but there's no reopening date set for that location yet. Meanwhile, the store on Howell Mill Road will be closed permanently. The company says it could not repurpose the store because of site restrictions. Walmart says it plans to work with the city to help with job placement for the workers impacted by the closure.